Hello YouTube and welcome to Cleveland International, or I don't know what the exact name of this is. <laughs> it's We're at the Cleveland Road Course though here in Ohio. Uh, and so join me in the booth is Stephen Pilot III and the first car out on track will be the 18 Interstate Battery Chevrolet of William Brock. And they come into this race 39th in the owner's points. So Brock, he had a good stretch of races with the 10th and 3rd at Riverside, but DNQ Texas, 31st and 37th the last two weeks. Uh, well, coming into this track, the main thing like we see in the road course is track position. So if they get into the top five, they can get a solid result, or they could fall back with pitch strategy. Who knows? If everything works out right, yeah. Zach Delello in the 49 car, the part-time effort for this team, comes into this one 54th in owner's points. Uh, Zach Delola, after winning, um, he DNQ'd the last two weekends in a row after finishing, um, where the heck is he? First and the fifth at Riverside. So the team had momentum and they lost it all. So trying to make another race and maybe they get another top five finish. Mary Shelley, the M&M's Ford Fusion, comes into this one 37th in the owner's points. Mary's three out of the last five races as a top 20 finish uh, with two DNQs right in the middle. So they make the race up another top 20. If not, they'll DNQ. A very tough season for Mary, and she's ready for 2008 season for redemption. Yeah. Amy Shelley right behind her on track in car number 12 comes into this one 16th in the honors points. Oh, great. Well, we're going to have to despair hit her and the 06 car. But uh, Amy, who won at R Richmond, did not get into the chase. 12th at Pigs Creek. Had a solid run there. Just trying to collect points and try to help the 12 car for next year with the um, owner's points basis. I see the next one. I'm going to wait till it actually clears pit lane. <laughs> actually, never mind. James Qual is the FedEx Ground Chevrolet. Car number 11 on track. They are 26th in the owner's points. Uh, James Qualls, here he is. Uh, last few races hasn't had a top 10 since Michigan. The last road course we were out was Rich uh, Riverside, and the team had a chance to win but choked on the strategy. So let's hope they don't pull a Ferrari this weekend and see if they have a good strategy to get to the front. Allie Nelson in the 36 360 OTC Toyota comes into this one 34th in the owner's points. So Allie made the Riverside race 41st, finished 14th last week at Pigs Creek. They have three out of the last six races they've DNQ'd or made with one top 20 finish. Also, another team look for momentum. The third three out of the last six they've DNQ'd or made. <laughs> yes, they've made three races. They DNQ three. Uh, anyways, uh, one top 20. The 36 will most likely become the 27 next year. So trying to gain points on that for them. Dylan Young, the Pepsi Chevrolet car 24, are going to be going back to the pit lane there, actually. So, so much for that one. Um, but hmm. to say real quick on them, they are fifth in the owner's points coming in. So Dylan has had two 24th place finishes, a first, a second, and a ninth the last five races. One of the first chases we're talking about. He is currently one, two, three, four, uh, fourth in the driver's standing, fifth in the owner's. So we'll see how Dylan does this weekend. As, oh, fun, it went to this one. Uh, Alexander <laughs> Rowe, the Miller Lite Dog ah. on track, and they come into this one 48th in the owner's points. So Alexander Rowe has been, made four, no, six out of the last seven races, and they scored a top ten at Richmond, which is the highlight of the season, no matter what anybody says. So if Alexander Rowe can make the race and have a good strategy, he could possibly get in that top ten, and I will be on my floor right here in the kitchen. Seth Cole just set his first lap time of the session. It's good enough for 13th quickest right now. He'll look to improve on that. They come into this one 18th in the owner's points. So Seth's had a struggling uh, stretch of race. They did finish 13th at Riverside, but they ha only have one top 10, two top 10s in the last like two months. So it's been a rough stretch for them. 20th at Pigs Creek, trying to get better for uh, the 25 team. Jeffrey McCullough in the 26 is currently 5th quickest, now 6th quickest in this session, and they come to this one 46th in the owner's points, the Irwin the Tools Ford. The reason why they've moved up so much, 5 straight mate races they've made, only 1 bad run at Riverside, which is ironically the last real course, but 4 straight top 20 finishes. The 26 team is approving, and they really want to get a top 10 because him and Anderson are the worst two drivers in the series now. <laughs> And so we've already now gone back to William Brock. Granted, part of that was because of uh, Dylan Young going back to pit lane. So 
Cole Deaver, the Budweiser Chevrolet, is currently ninth quickest in this session. They come to this one 14th in the owner's points fresh off the win last week. Uh, so first career win for Cole Deaver. He becomes one of the few of the rookie drivers to win this season. We had a lot of Budweiser after last week's win. Uh, the team is, that was their first... <laughs> that was their first top 10 since Darlington. It's been a struggling uh, stretch of races, but a win cures everything. We'll see how they do. 10th fastest right now as uh, uh, the front of the field is uh, going to hell. <laughs> Henry Sanford, the BK Racing, Damn. or the Burger King Toyota for Michael Walter Racing is currently third quickest right now, and they come to this one ninth in the owner's points right now. So Henry's Wolves continue with the 29th at uh, Pigs Creek. Ever since the flip at Vance Arena, 30th at Riverside, 28th and a 38th. This double zero has been on a bad stretch of races, so they need to pick up the pace for the chase, and they're going to be finishing 12th. Zach Rogers in car number 10 with the red roof number this week is currently 9th quickest, and the 10 comes into this one 21st in the owner's points. They had three straight top 10 finishes. Finished ninth at R Rich Riverside, uh, excuse me, 18th at Pig Creek, so four straight top 20s for the 10 team. And hopefully this car is fast, because if their backup car is not, Rob Pollard's missing the race again. <laughs> Tristan Wilhoit, the Dish Network Ford, is currently sitting on pit lane with a non-competitive lap time in 20 seconds. <laughs> uh, they come into this one third in the owner's points. So there's no more crown jewel races, and Tristan usually does bad at the rope. Excuse me, too bad at the road courses. 27th at, um, what was it, Riverside, and they finished 33rd at Barber. So they're one of the championship contenders. They need to try to find some speed this week, and they're going to find some definite. Because if anybody has a good run ahead of them, he's going to lose more points. And he comes in this one 11 points out, so. How about, well, I'm still, excuse me, nine, eight out of the top nine are going to go homers. <laughs> Zachary Fitzwater is currently 15th quickest, the UAW. <laughs> Or the uh, Dodge Dealers Dodge there for Evernham Racing. They come into this one 27th in the owner's points. So, Zach, we haven't talked much about him. The reason why he has, has only had one top 25 finish in the last five races, which was last week at Pigs Creek. 19 team trying to find the speed. All of Evernham's trying to find some speed. So, we'll see how he does this weekend. Stephen Paul III currently is 12th quickest right now. Just king at at speed for him it's the red splitter for the 23 this week and they come into this one 25th in the owner's points so steven after having a good third fourth a third at barber at the last road uh, another road course 10th at darlington but a struggling with only one two top 25s the last few races the 23 team will most likely not be back the next year but trying to build some momentum for the last hurrah for these guys The Meadows Con, the Penzo Platinum Chevrolet, is currently 24th quickest, getting back up to speed for his lap, and they come into this one 33rd in the owner's points. Uh, Spedos Con, DNQ last week at Pigs Creek, uh, had a fifth place in Michigan, but hasn't had good results since. This car won the owner's championship last year and will not finish in the top 30 this year. Yeah, definitely. Well, very unlikely, let's put it that way. Steve Pollard is currently 19th quickest. He will race, but for this car, they come into this one 40th in the owner's points. So Steve, thank God he's locked in, is 21st at Pigs Creek after surviving some damage. 6th at Richmond. Starting this far back, it looks like if he doesn't improve his time, it's going to be a tough challenge to get through the field. So Steve's got a lot of eight races to work his way up there. Oscon just jumped up to 8th. Oh so my, and I just saw who's 3rd. What, 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 did, did everybody get a brain William boost? William Flickinger, uh, okay, William Flickinger, uh, is currently third quickest, he just set his quickest lap of the session, and they target dodge, they come into this one, 47th in the owner's points. Uh, so he has a weird, uh, thing, he has, a uh, three DNQs out of the last four, and a 10th place at Texas. Looks like he might have a chance to make the race, I don't know, we have a whole goal, go over top. just jumped up to third. Well, now, Paul, we're, now we're starting to get some of the uh, actual cars up there as well. So. Well, that's good, because I was about to say Group 2 is screwed. But William, if he makes the race, trying to get another top 10 finish. It's been a really struggling two years for the 40. Hopefully next year with the IndyCar star. Oh, wait. Not the IndyCar star. Oh. Next. As he creams the wall. I think that's part of the problem with what's going on in this session. But go ahead. Finish the point. Oh, uh, let's see if they get a top 10. Christopher Pierce in the 41 is currently 24th quickest. Now just jumped up to 14th with his lap time. They come to this one 28th in the owner's points. 
It's been a struggling season. Third at Texas was the best result two races ago. 33rd last week at Pigs uh, Creek. So the 41 team needs some momentum for sure. We saw Mark George go to pit lane. They are currently not on track, so we'll get back to that one in a moment. Uh, remind me, please. RJ Which Reynolds, one is the, uh, the 42. RJ Reynolds, oh. UPS Toyota, currently second quickest in this session, and they are 45th in the owner's points coming in. Well, the reason why they're 40, they finished fourth event Serena. That's all good and nice, but the last four races have been DNQing. But with that lap time, that's definitely looked like it might be a lock to make the race. So, go I RJ. I mentioned they're 44th in owner's points because I forgot we still hadn't, didn't have the DNQ points there. So. Yeah, blame my D drive. Blame yes. Alger Baranowskis is currently in 14th quickest right now, the 46 car, as someone must have jumped up. I don't quite tell who. Uh, but Baranowskis, this part time effort comes in this one, 53rd in the owner's points. Well, Baranowskis got a fifth place, almost won last week, and I almost jumped out of my seat. Their first top 15, first top 10, and first top 5 of the season. So they have all the momentum in the world. 14th right now, that's not going to be cutting it to make the race, so they need some speed. Joshua Osborne, the radioactive. <laughs> not. <laughs> huh? Sorry, I just. Sorry, go ahead. The radioactive energy Chevrolet for Haas CNC. Or for, yeah, for Haas CNC what? Racing is 23rd quickest right now. They come to this one 32nd in the owner's points. Well, they've DNQ three races at three, actually four out of the last five races with a 33rd at Riverside. 70 team has been running like crap. They need to cut the COT program, it looks like. And Alexander Rowe is the fastest car on track. Still is. Henry Williams, the Camping World Ford, is currently ninth quickest in this session, and this part-time effort comes in this one 52nd in the owner's points. So their super speeding program was definitely good. They won a cold coal and finished second at Pigs Creek. They made Riverside finish seventh. Uh, they DNQ'd Barber, or I have to put in their results for Barber because I mistyped that. But anyways, the 77 team is usually good at road courses because it's a Robbie Gordon car, so we'll see how they do this week. Max Anderson currently is 8th quickest as McCullough just jumped up to 4th. Oh um, boy. Well, he was already kind of up there, but then just moved back up further. Uh, the 88 comes into this one, 35th in the owner's points. So besides the DNQing and dying at Riverside, the 88 teams have just piled the last month or so a bunch of top 20 finishes. So the team's got momentum, they're just so far in owner points that they have a bad race, they're not going to have a good result. So that's the field. Let's see the bottom of the field. See how slow well, some people. Well, and also need to show the 42. It's the big red scheme, actually. Yeah. So Mark George comes into this. Uh, go ahead, Charles. You do yours. Uh, so George comes into this one. They are sixth in the owners' points. So they won at Texas, finished seventh at Riverside, and 23rd at Pigs Creek. 28th. Wait, no, that's actually the wrong. No, that's actually the right person. 28th at um. Riverside, the last road course. They are in the chase, so looking for a good run to improve it, but that lap time is definitely not going to help them gain any points. Well, I mean, if it helps, Tristan Wilhoit's actually slower than them by eight-tenths of a second. <laughs> William Brock, and la that's going to be a house call right there. Steve Paul, that's going to be a house... Oh, wait, Steve Paul is in the field. Uh, yeah. Jonathan Osborne. <laughs> wow, Joshua Steve... Osborne, actually. Yes, Josh, well, that's going to be bad. Ali Nelson's going to be iffy. I mean, actually, not... Osborne yet. just jumped up, but... Oh, Amy Shelley up to fourth. Cole Deaver up to sixth. Dylan Young up into the top ten now. That's good. I think it just void that wall. I mean, this is the first time I've seen this. This is uh, the yeah, enormous... the, the turn, the last turn wall is uh what's caused, and I forgot about that before we started. So, uh, this is the inaugural race at Cleveland too. Uh, one of the first track. I believe there's twenty. I don't know how many total. Twenty five or something total tracks we ran in, in all time here. Oh God. Well, and you know what? Will Hoyt still might improve his lap time. Oh, never mind. That was to start a lap. Uh, also, Mark George improved even the head now of uh, Steve Pollard. So It's going to be a rough week for Steve Pollard. <laughs> oh, boy. The chase hopes are dwindling. But the 70 car, man, he's got, he might fall below the... Um, the 29 pretty soon in owner points, the way well, they're dropping. if the 29 makes some races, so... Yeah, they're very true. The battle for 30... Oh, the 83 actually did pass the 70, so the battle for the yes. top 30 is, is uh, very non-existent, to say the least. You can say that again, yeah. As very interesting track. This is a converted track, so it's definitely going to be racing interestingly. As now... 
lap times will count. We are in standby time, so flying laps will count. Definitely looks like an interesting road course. If Steve Paul doesn't hit that wall, oh, okay, never mind. Hmm. Mark George avoided it, not improving his time though. I just got like hit. What happens here? No. So uh, does Row improve his time even farther? Or no. Uh, when are we when are we posting the truck race again? Um, not sure. We'll see what happens. Okay. Okay, I can't say what happened then. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll try not to say much about what happens and restrict my... Uh, I want to make a joke, but I, I can't really say because that spoils what happens in the race. <laughs> I, th I think we're Charles... I want to keep, op keep my options open on when I'm uploading some of these. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going to keep my mouth shut on that one. <laughs> Fitzwater up to 13th. Good laugh for him. Alexander Rowe is the fact. If Alexander and That is it. Qualifying just completed. I saw it tick over. So, Alexander Rowe, of all people, what? puts together the fastest lap of this session. What? RJ Reynolds, Zach DeLello, Jeffrey McCullough, Zach, or, uh, William Flickinger, and Ali Nelson all in the top 10 out of Go or Go Home Cars. Uh, Steve Pollard, thank goodness for him that he's locked in. <laughs> uh, but he's going to have a terrible run, though. <laughs> um, as now the cars all disappear, yep. As <laughs> Osborne looks difficult for him, probably. Alger Baranowskis, Mary Shelley, probably going to miss it as well. No clue about Ozcon and Williams, who knows. Um, <laughs> those are going to be borderline cases. It definitely depends on group two, as well as for Anderson. Um, with that, though, we'll be right back for group number two. And, yeah. And we are back for group number two as the first car out on the track is, okay, is actually the 20th Preston Plore, the Home Depot Chevrolet, which comes into this race 22nd in the owner's points. So Preston finished 34th last week at Pigs Creek. They haven't had a top 10 finish since third at Twin Rig, so it's been a struggling stretch of races with the 20 team. So trying to build momentum for next year for the 20 car. Vince Almarego, the Pittsburgh Paints Chevrolet is what it looked like there on the hood. Yes, it is. And the 15 comes into this one. Oh, there they are. 11th in the owner's points. So Vince's out of struggling races since uh, Barber. They've only had two top 10s. The second in Richmond was pretty good, and the sixth in Michigan. But everything else has been lackluster. They finished 23rd at Richmond, and they finished 20th at Barber. Not the best road course program. And like I mentioned with Dylan, I mean, Tristan, one of the chasers. So they need to gain points this week because a lot of the good road course races will gain pointer, points on them. So they need to improve as they hit the wall. Chris Louvier with the 01 team comes into this one leading the owner's points. Uh, yep, Chris Louvier is leading the points. I just have to find him. He's all the way at the bottom down here. He finished fourth at Pigs Creek, the best of the chasers, and netted him the points lead. 34th at Richmond, but they, ha they haven't had good runs the last few weeks. So let's see how the all one team can rebound this week. This is a uh, Gin car, so we'll see how Gin does this week. Delon Ebrahimian, the AAA Ford Fusion for Roush Racing, comes into this one 15th in the owner's points. They missed the chase, right? Yes. Okay, so 36 last week, and they haven't had a top 10 since it's two, three straight eighth place finishes. There's a logo on the deck lid, by the way, for the six. I see that, yes. <laughs> and Chris, oh, were you done? Yeah, I'm done. Right. Chris Washer, the Kellogg's full art. Oh my God. <laughs> the CarQuest Chevy is. What is it again? Seventh okay. in the owner's points. So Chris has actually been one of the hottest drivers on the stretch. He has had one, two, three, five, actually six straight top fit 20 finishes with the worst finish last week at Pigs Creek with the 19th. The five teams got a lot of momentum heading into the chase. And if wherever he starts, wherever track position nets him, he could have a good run this week. Sky Commons in the 83 is up to 31st in the owner's points with the Red Bull Toyota. Uh, Sky Commons. Yeah, he's right here. He finished third last week at Pigs Creek. That's what, that's what led him to that. 31st in the points, passing the 70 of Osborne. 41st at Richmond and a ninth at Texas. So besides that one bad race, they've been on a good stretch of races. Getting the Matt Dixon cars finally, so we'll see how Sky Commons does. 
This one's the uh, yellow on the side as well, by the way. Kev Shear in the Cheerios Dodge, just getting up to speed as well right now, is second slowest out of cars that set a lap in this group. Um, although it looks like the 15 hit the wall in his lap. The 43 comes into this one, 42nd in the owner's points. So, Kev, the bright news is he had three straight races in a row, eighth at Texas, third at Richmond, but last weekend a devastating 42nd place finish. So, Kev trying to make a fourth straight race in a row and hopefully not finishing last. Right side, he at least led a lap. Zach Flickinger in the Napa Toyota Car 55 comes into this one 36th in the owner's points. So just like RJ with his fourth place at um, Venice Arena, he finished fourth at Texas, but has DNQ'd four, four out of the last five races. And it's so the, the 55 team splitter. hopefully to make black splitter on the car and hopefully to make the race and end that bad streak and maybe get a top 10 finish. Meanwhile, Jack James in the state water heater Chevrolet car number four will uh, is currently sixth quickest, comes into this one 30th in the owner's points. So since returning from injury, 16th, 5th, and his worst finish was 35th at Pigs Creek. So Jack has been running too bad at all. And not great, but hopefully have some more mo momentum this weekend at a road course. Tim Randolph in the second. 60 has been in the wall. He is 10th in the owner's points coming into this one, 12th on the speed charts. So Tim Randolph is the consistency guy in the chase, but a 32nd at Pigs Creek, a 20th at Richmond, has not had a top 10 since his third place run at Indy. The team needs to find some speed in the top 10 because just running top 15 is not going to win you a championship. Bram Patterson, the USG Sheetrock Ford, is 17th quickest in the 17 car, ironically enough, and they come to this one 23rd in the owner's points. So the retirement tour for Patterson continues 27th at Pigs Creek, a 16th at Richmond. They had only one top 10 since Indy. So, not running great, but the Roush family is surely going to try to give the 17 a good send off with them. Kyle Matthews just jumped up to third quickest with his last lap time, and they are currently 24th in the owner's points entering the race. So, Kyle hasn't had a top 10 or top 5 since Indy. 38th at Pig Street, 28th at Richmond, and 33rd at Texas. So, try to find some momentum with the 48. They are definitely Alexander getting. Alexander Rowe will not be on pole. Thank the Lord. But anyways, the, the 48 car has been struggling and needs to pick up some speed. Sky Commons set a lap time 200 nope. or 2,000 quicker than nope. that. And Kyle Matthews just went even quicker. Yep. And I'm trying to get to the car that was there. Matt Dixon, also with the yellow on the side of his car. Oh, is uh, 14th quickest right now. And the 84 comes into this race. 50th in the owner's points. Excuse me. DAQ last week at Pigs Creek, but I believe almost every start they've had this year besides the uh, 21st at most point, they finished top 21 every race they've made besides Martinsville, I believe. So the 84 has had a great season besides the DNQ. Won two DNQ races. So the 84 hopefully will be full-time next year, and they got a lot of momentum on the site. Could be a championship contender. Jonathan Zorline, the Mac Tools number seven, is currently ninth quickest in this one, and they come into this race fourth in the owner's points. So the seven teams definitely on the uprise ever since Rich Riverside, and like I always mentioned, Robbie Gordon cars are always good at road courses. Second at Riverside, 14th at Texas, 11th at Richmond, and 7th at Pigs Creek. Can't win the driver's title, but you can do the second best thing and win the owner's title like the 29 team did last season as Chris Washer won the driver's title. So we'll see if Sorlike can pull it off with the seven team because it's been a great year for Robbie Gordon. They won a million dollars still. <laughs> William Duncan, the unsponsored 31 car, is 16th quickest in this one, or in this session currently, and comes into the race 13th in the owner's points. Uh, Duncan's had a good stretch of th actually four of the last five races with a top 10 finish besides the 22nd at R Riverside. 31 team's been running good. Um, definitely need to ship these cars to Steve Pollard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mohamed Zain Abdullah, the Bass Pro Shops. Tracker Boat Chevrolet is currently 10th quickest in this session, and the one team comes into this. Well, pff, just got hit back into the pit box there, I think. Um, they come to this one 29th in the owner's points, though. The reason why the 29th, they were once in the top 10 points. They haven't had a top 10 since Las Vegas, and their best finish since was a 16th at Riverside since that stretch. The one team has been running so horribly bad. They need a shot in the arm, and they need a good run for sure. 
Charles Jackson, the Lifetime Dealers, number nine, is currently fourth quickest in this session, and they come to this one twelfth in the owner's points. Well, the reason why they're so far down was their second worst finish of the year. Actually, two of their worst their worst two finish divs come in the last four races. 19 to Texas, the 30th at Richmond. The 19 doesn't have the speed they did early in the year, and they're falling back. They need to have a good momentum boost. Fourth right now will definitely help that out. Charles Sanford in the 05 t uh, car for S3 Motorsports is currently 19th quickest in this session. They come into this one 43rd in the owner's points. So Sanford has been having a horrible, horrible stretch of luck. A bunch of DQs. The race they made was 37th, 38th, a 39th, and a 26th at Pig Stadium. The old five teams need some momentum, or S3 is not showing up to 2008. Well, they're still working on some sponsorship deals, and they're helpful of being able to be on the grid for next season. So. Yeah, with all the misses, they're going to have to be optimistic. <laughs> Johnny Gardner brings up the mobile ones six. They are sixteenth quickest right now. Thirty-eighth in the owners points. So Johnny's missed three actually four out of the last six races, but a thirty-fifth and a thirtieth. Uh he crashed at Fence while running in fourth place at Pigs Creek. He got was involved in the crash. Actually plowed under caution twice and crashed out. So Johnny needs to earn the respect back of his drivers and needs to make races. Will Lewis is currently not on track, okay. Mm -hmm. Sam Young, the Wiley X Chevrolet, is currently 13th quickest in this session, and they come just one eighth in the owner's points. So they did win a road course this year. They did win at Barber, I believe. Did they win at Sonoma? No, they they, yeah, they finished second at Sears Point, or Sonoma, like we like to call it. 31st at Pig Creek, 18th at Richmond. Sam Young is trying to do some of the seats that nobody else has a shot to win all three championships. So we'll see how his quest continues this weekend. Jessica Shelton in the 21 Ford Motorcraft uh, Ford for Wood Brothers Racing is currently 6th quickest in this session and comes into this one 17th in the owner's points. Uh, Jess has not had a top 10 finish at 7th place at Barber. Uh, 15th last week at Pig Street, not a bad result. The 21 team just building momentum for next year in the uh, car. Bill Brack Jr. is currently 8th quickest in the Caterpillar Toyota and they are second in the owner's points. What's up? What version of the car it is? Uh, we have yellow splitter. So with that, sixth place at Pig Street was the run they needed. They also are on the Charles Jackson side where they've been running really poorly since the, like their first half was great with the second half. They didn't have a top 10 finish since a 10th place at Thorn. So it's been a really bad stretch for them too. So we'll see how their momentum helps them this weekend. Tom Shelley is not on track. Okay. <laughs> they don't want to be on camera. Robert Pollard is currently wow. seventh quickest right now in the 98 car, and they come into this one 45th in the owner's points. Well, Sorry, they're 55th, up. 55th, I mean. Yeah, they're there. So Robert Pollard, at only race this year he made was a 15th at Darlington running the 74 Derek Cope car. DQ'd Richmond. No, he didn't even. Yeah, he DQ'd. No, he didn't even attempt Richmond. That was a fail. Buddy DQ'd Pig Creek was really slow, and hopefully shenanigans don't happen this weekend. Levi McIntyre, the Office Depot Ford, is currently 15th quickest in this session, and they are 20th in the owner's points. After a dismal summer stretch, Levi's finally picking up the pace a little bit. 8th at Richmond and 11th at Pigs Creek. So they're going to try to continue the top 10 streak as we have two more cars we kind of missed because they were off track. Oh, yeah. So Tom Shelley, the Wells Fargo Dodge, is definitely need to improve that speed. Um, they mm -hmm. are 24th on the speed charts right now in this session and 41st in owner's points. Uh, where is Tom? Tom's right here. Tom was not able to pull the Tom Gerard last last week, and he crashed, finished 41st. They made two straight races, but definitely need a lot of momentum. Another guy who missed the chase for the first time this season was him. And Will Lewis, last but not least there, with the Jack Daniels 07 Chevrolet, is currently 25th quickest in this session, and they are 19th in the owner's points. 13th at Pig Street, 23rd at Richmond, 25th at Texas, and 8th place at Riverside, the last road course, and they finished uh, 32nd at Barber. So the team needs some momentum. Um, their main goal is to help out Steve Pollard, so we'll see how they do this weekend. And now it's time for me to do some math. <laughs> or at least this counting. Is, well, Charles is the math tutor, so I, I got a 65 in algebra, so... <laughs> 
Uh, remember, there's 10, 10 spots lock in because of Steve Pollard. Oh, 11. 11. So let's see. Uh, I can guarantee you Alexander Owen and Sky Commons are in the race. <laughs> Look at the bottom down there. Johnny at the list. Matt Dixon, that's going to have to pick it up. Charles Sanford's pretty slow, too. That might be another house call right there for him. Osborne looks like he's going to the house. Uh, Mary Shelley, Oscon Williams. I don't know who's below the 06, but. Okay. I know who it is now. I do not. <laughs> <laughs> who's below? Okay, let's see. Zach Flickinger is definitely a house call. Tom Shelley looks like he's going to the house, too. Oh, that's definitely going to need to pick up that time. And that's actually a lot slower than James Qualls this time. <laughs> mm -hmm. Matt well, Dixon is a 630 and he is slower than Osborne. That's a house call for him. <laughs> so let's see. One, two, three, f plus Sky Commons. So one, two, three. So Delal will make the race. That's good for them. Four, five, six. Seven, eight. Uh, too much math for me. Uh. <laughs> Let's put it this way: I know who the bumble. I know. I know who the bubble speed is right now, and it is one of the drivers from Group One. That is the bubble time. Well, I'm looking at it. it. Has to be Max Anderson. That that's looks like it has to be. Because Kev ran an O. Oh, yeah, it has to be Max Anderson. And either, we are now into standby time. It's either Anderson or Williams. So it looks like Kev's going to make another race that's good for Robert Paul. It's probably going to DQ this race. Um, well, someone just jumped up, and that might end up screwing over something in there. I don't know. Sam Depends Young. On who jumped up. Just looking to see who will improve on times, especially with chasers. So. Yeah. The reason why I know someone jumped up is because Charles Sanford actually fell from 17th to 18th. Mm -hmm. Well, when I had 18th as the top speed and all of a sudden the 05 shows up on there. You know what it is? A lot of people end up pitting at the exact same time, so these guys are starting runs right now. Hello! Delon Ebrahimian jumps up. Well, Delon, welcome to the party, Delon Abrahamian. Where'd you come from? Zayn Abdullah just jumped up, I believe. And Looks like that might... is it. Uh, Zach Flickinger was actually the first car I saw across the line when standby time started, so... That is it for qualifying here, and... Uh, so I will say this, the front row will be Delon Ebrahimian and Kyle Matthews. And looking down there, I think I still know who the 11 drivers who will make it in on speed are. So with that, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe if you haven't done it for more gaming and racing related content. I'm Grind Fan 291 and this has been a production of the NRSL. I'll see you guys next time. See you guys.